My name is Janie Radabaugh. I'm a planetary scientist and I'm a professor of geological sciences at Brigham Young University in Utah. And I study the solar system and I also am a consultant to NASA for some space missions. My areas of research are mainly Io, a moon of Jupiter and its volcanoes, and Titan, a moon of Saturn, and its vast fields of sand dunes. And I also study things on Earth, landscapes like sand dunes and uh, lava flows and lava lakes on the Earth that help us understand those other objects. As a university professor, I am able to be a consultant to NASA on various aspects of the solar system. So I am able to be involved in some spacecraft missions, like I was on the radar team for the Cassini mission to Saturn, and I was also on the imaging team for the Galileo mission to Jupiter as a graduate student. When I was very young, there were a lot of movies at the time that sparked our interest in uh, space and in exploration. And these were Star Wars and E.T., the extraterrestrial, and uh, Indiana Jones, the Raiders of the Lost Ark. All of those movies were very exciting uh, to me, and they really helped me understand that I wanted to be an explorer, and I also wanted to explore the solar system and the universe. If you are interested in science and space, I would say try your hardest to keep on studying that. Keep learning more about it. Find books that are really interesting to you. Find movies that you like to watch that have to do with space and space exploration. There are lots of exciting things happening right now. You just heard it's the 50th anniversary of the first time people put footprints on the moon. And that's really special. And it's fun for you to think about the fact that you could be the next person to walk on the moon or to walk on Mars. And one of you will do that. So if you wanna be the one to do it, just keep on working really hard and keep following your dreams. In the future, I will continue to study volcanoes on Io and sand dunes on Titan and even sand dunes on Pluto, really distant and far away. I hope I'll go back with the Antarctic Search for Meteorites program again to Antarctica. I love it so much. And I'm really excited because our mission just got selected by NASA to go back to Titan. And this is called Dragonfly. It is a quadcopter drone mission that will fly around in the atmosphere of Titan, will land on its surface, and will pick up materials and analyze them so that we know if Titan is a place where it's possible that maybe life got started, just like on Earth. We don't know. And we want to go and look and try to understand Titan better. So that's my future, and I'm really excited about it. Thank you.